Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. They all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Holes. Sure. They're Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise. I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his. He's cutting in there. Let's go. Quiet. What's look like? A bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? The hole's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there. 
onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get them. And do it silently. Well, obviously I'm gonna do it silently. I wanna see this bastard swing. For as long as any of us can remember, it is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This are... is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your Damn sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life!
Take it on, Arthur. Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess, compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. So who do you think the rat is? Rat? Well, someone's talking to somebody. They has to be. Uh, I reckon they just caught our scent. We can't shake them off, that's all. I think it's Marston. <sighs> Nonsense. Mark my words.
Look who it is. Hello, Karen. <sighs> Look who it is. Oh, Arthur. Big, tough Arthur. <laughs> you want to know something, Arthur? What? I don't know. I don't know. I had something to say. I did. Take it easy, Karen. On the hooch. Why? Because a good sober life will bring me peace and contentment? What a crock of shit this world is. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson. It's gonna be all right. No, it's not. If the Pinkertons don't kill us, we're gonna kill each other. Just try to stay calm, all right? Okay, Mr. Morgan. There. 
How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snap the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Reach to breathe out. Reach to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved. <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. But I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. <laughs> it was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. <laughs> then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <clears throat> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay.
stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. I'm sorry, boy. <laughs>
easy. Come on now, boy. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies. 
More chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can... You could give something to Jack. It's that or... Well, I don't see no way out of this. Well, what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <coughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, all right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right, let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. <laughs> I'm ready, come on. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly there. Okay, good. Grab the other one. from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. These are mine in charge. They ain't easy to come by. If they don't do the job, nothing will. Quick as you can,
Arthur, get up here quick! Yeah, I'm on my way. Faster, buddy, come on! Shit. Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! Hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Faster! Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old Dutch got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me, and we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 